Hey everyone, wanted to talk a little bit about receivers today and some of the tips and kind of tricks I've learned about mounting these over the last year and a half or two years or so of flying uh, quadcopters. And um, we're all pretty familiar with this scenario, I think, right here where the tips or um, even even wrapped in um, heat shrink still get torn off and damaged, attached to zip ties on top of uh, quads. So one of my favorite things I've done here, I got a few examples, is um, I've done things like uh, wing mounting, like this is here, this is a Sky Hero Anakin here. And what I've done with my receiver is I've actually run it along the wings right here, attached to a zip tie. It kind of comes out right through the top there. And this thing survived a few crashes, no problem. Not even a little nick on them. They're all still perfectly right in there. Um, this is a QAVR right here, old frame, tried and true. It's a fantastic frame still if you guys haven't checked it out. Very, very solid, very well made. Um, but what I've done here is I've run my cables right up here, right before my battery pad, and uh, zip tied that along the top of the frame. Haven't had any issues with any sort of signal or anything like that. Also got a little more modern of a frame here that people really like a lot is the Chameleon. And again, I've done something very similar to the, the Anakin where I've run it along right here and have it coming along my uh, wings right here with a little heat shrink on the end there just for extra protection. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but it, it maybe it'll help with something. But yeah, that's that's the way I've survived a lot of crashes without having to replace these.